Modern technology can build a terrace like this, but it still takes drive and endurance to win the battle against cancer. Chris, first off, you have this all wrong. That terrace up there is the trestle terrace. And drive is great, but fundraising sure helps. Thanks to contributions from the Ohio State family, both physical and financial, the Buckeyes are joining Lance Armstrong in the charge against cancer. We need a world that's cancer free. All it takes is to see a loved one or uh, a patient on the ward uh, suffering and dying from cancer. And if you realize you've got some skills in terms of figuring out what could be causing this, it's pretty easy to get in the game. We know how critical the research is. As I said, that in my lifetime, just to see that for one particular cancer called GIST, we have now a pill that I can give and that gives them five years, seven years, 10 years. So I want to find pill like that for every cancer and it's not gonna come freebie. I think that we all have to work hard and continue to work hard. And if we're going to really get answers on how we prevent and cure cancer, we have to invest in it the same way you invest in other things. I trained at Harvard, and when I was up there, there was a bike event that they had. It was about 10 years old at the time, and went back talking to a friend of mine, and he said, do you remember that bike event? I said, yeah. He said, well, you know, that's 30 years old now. Do you know how much money we're raising from it? I said, no. He said, $35 million in one weekend. Our entire budget from the National Cancer Institute at Ohio State University is $40 million. So the notion that we could, in a year, go from 300 researchers to 600 researchers and get those prevention strategies and cures twice as fast, that was very, very appealing. I hadn't ridden a bike in 30 years and I uh, said, but you know what, I can do this. So I bought a bike and I started riding a mile a night, exhausted, and then before I knew it, I was ready to go up to Boston and give it a try. And I went up to Boston, I rode in the Pan Mass Challenge. 160 miles in two days, and it was fantastic. It was an incredible experience, and that's what we're going to do here with Pelotonia. Pelotonia reflects a partnership between NetJets and The Ohio State University. NetJets made a $12.5 million gift which will fund Pelotonia over at least a five-year period of time. Each and every weekend in uh, August or September, depending on when the Buckeyes play, we'll have uh, uh, this, this experience for the community which manifests itself in a bike-a-thon of sorts. Our goal is to have 2,200 people. We decided we were going to be audacious. This is an audacious university, and uh, we decided we were going to really go uh, and, and start one of the larger bike races in the country, almost to start with, and that's what we're doing. I'm excited to say a guy named Lance is riding. You know him. Our governor is riding. Our mayor is riding. The chairman of NetJets, Rich Santulli, is riding. So we've got a lot of great people that have just stepped up and said, I'm going to contribute in a meaningful way. I'm not an athletic person at all, but I always love riding the bike for social reasons, and I like outdoors. And uh, So when I first found out that there is going to be an event like this, I was so psyched up, I was very, very excited. going to start uh, near campus, uh, essentially on campus, ride through campus and head down to Southeast Ohio, and uh, many of which will be university students and staff and associates and physicians and nurses. You'll do either 25, 50, or 100 miles that day. We'll end up at Ohio University. If you go the 180, you'll stay overnight, compliments of Ohio University, and uh, we'll head back another 80 and then we'll finish party there. It'll be a great weekend, and my hope as you ask, is that at the end of all of this, we raise more than three million and closer to four million dollars in our first inaugural year. That'll be amazing. I remember like 10 years ago, I rode like eight miles and I was so proud of myself. I was like, wow, I did eight miles. And it was like a big thing in my family. And 
So when I heard about this event, I thought, well, 50 is a huge challenge for me, so why not 180? And that's literally how I decided. I, I thought that it, it would be good. I like challenges, and I thought that it's going to definitely put me to the big challenge. Anyone who's been touched by this disease, who feels like they want to take a swipe at it, should really be in this. I feel that riding Pelotonia, it's my small contribution to help those in the future who might be affected by this disease. This is a very important uh, issue for this university because we have one of the great cancer research centers in the country, one of the truly great hospitals. The Janes, we have become as a big family and now it's time or opportunity to share this big family with the community. You know, one in two men will get cancer in their lifetime, one in three women will get cancer in their lifetime. This is a disease that's going to impact all of us. So we really need to do something about it, and this will. My, my first wife died in the, in the cancer hospital here, and so um, I, I think we've all been touched in some way. And, uh, and now it's about touching others. It's about creating hope. I hope to be standing in front of this camera 30 years from now when I'm 83 telling you I'm a 30-year rider and we're raising, you know, upwards of 100 million a year. That's our show for today. From The Ohio State University, I'm Chris Forbes, a winner. Thanks for watching.